so join me in this process guys welcome back again this is giving back ai education we are going to build a fully stack fully functional public facing open source network application and in the process you will become ai engineer Fast API has been one of the reliable and most popular API development framework. Go to github.com fast API, click on this full stack fast API template. And why this fast API full stack template is one of the most popular and most recommended template is because it already comes with what is supposed to be a boilerplate for your next big project. Okay. And we are going to create a fully functional, fully deployed project over the course of this video. But I'm just showing you how to work with the template in the first place. Show you what exactly makes this template a great choice for beginners or to start a new project as a boilerplate. The Fast API technology stack is as follows. It has the Python backend API. Interesting. It does have SQL model for Python SQL database interactions. Some of you uh, might be coming from Django models and uh, you might be curious. Well, so what happens when you start working with fast api well worry not there's a sql model for that this is also a object relational mapper we will work on it together pydantic is there pydantic is the data validation and setting management postgres sql for sql database react for front end chakra ui the library playwright for end-to-end -end testing dark mode supported docker compose is there all of these are already configured under the hood so we don't need to worry some of the basic setup in a project okay Okay, so how do we install this that's a good question now let's go to this button green button click on this code click here copy this copy url to clipboard okay minimize this open the vs code and we have created some of the projects out there i'm gonna keep it here for your reference and all the videos all the code we are going to use here will be all available for you in giving back ai's github account please go and make sure to follow the giving back ai's github account but for now i'm going to clone this and show you exactly how to work with the template fast api so open a terminal and type git clone and paste the url we just copied earlier so now let's see what happens so it says cloning fully stack fast api template blah 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 and it has successfully cloned the template here so if you click here it expands to all the internal dependencies files folders folders and whatnot the most interesting part is it has the back end and front end configuration for us also the hooks images the script all the environment variables uh things like that Do docker composes here docker per yaml all this beautiful basic label configuration is already done so we don't need to worry about the boilerplate now let's go ahead and try to run our service up so before that let's click on the readme section what it says and how to operate on it first thing first let's rename this template as our own name all right so i'm gonna call this name open source network from giving back ai so in short i'll just keep it osn for open source network this folder is now osn okay you can just rename directly and if you open this dot env file you will see some of the configurations that is going to be persistent throughout the project first of all what is the domain in production environment this is going to be different we will look into it in future but for now i'll leave it as it is project name let's rename this to giving back ai open storage network okay and the stack name let's call it giving back ai open store open hyphen stores network all right so back in course origin so there's something called course cross origin resource settings this is something we will look into it in future secret key let's change this to all right i'm just going to add d to change secret key first super user let's call it demo at the rate giving back dot ai but you can replace with your own a username and for the first super user password i'm gonna keep change this change so smtp host user password all these things uh, these are for the email configuration we will look into this in future but for now i will i will skip it if you go to database configuration you can see the postgres set set up for this so what will the password for the password for postgres database well the database name is app well i'll keep it as it is postgres user it's the postgres password they are instructing me to change it so i'm gonna change to change this all right actually we can also create our own database let's say the database app can be osn app so i'm going to create even if you have another database running in your local host it might conflict if you keep the same database name 
So um, for security and other reason, I'm just creating a new database in my local host. So that's completely fine. A Docker image backend, I'm going to call it OSN server. Okay. OSN server, front end can be OSN, OSN UI. Okay. But you can leave it as it is. So these are the basic setup that you can do in your .env file that you tell your service, what are the name of the applications you want to call when the API documentation opens, what do you want to call, things like that. All this configuration stuff is here. All right. So next up, we need to run this Docker Compose file for our service to be available to test locally. So how do you do that? Well, like always, for Docker, this for this to work, you need to have the Docker installed in your local computer. Even if you do not have, please check the link in the description below. There's a supporting material for you to go and install Docker in your local machine. If you already have it, worry not. Let's move on to the next step. You can do LS or since we are here inside the education folder, let's go in inside OSN folder okay so I'm gonna cd OSN now I am inside OSN now if you do ls space hyphen la you can see all the files and folders inside the OSN folder now once you are here you can do docker space compose space up so we have successfully implemented or installed the services but if you notice here all these blocks are coming as if uh, something is going on here and if it, this ever happens to you just remember this is because of the way we are running command for example let me cancel this okay although it had already created the services i'm gonna show you how to run this in a detached mode if you do space hyphen d docker compose up and space hyphen d it runs in a detached mode so you don't need to see all the logs in your terminal okay you can see it has recreated and started the service. It has finished it. Now let's go ahead and open our Docker desktop. Expand it. You can see the mail catcher is installed. Proxy is there. Frontend is there. Database is there. Adminer is there. All this UI uh, is there. Backend is also there. So let's go ahead and see one by one what's happening here. Okay, I'm gonna start with our frontend because that's what it's seen generally, right? So if you go to localhost colon 5173, it will give you this UI. It gives you email and password. Uh, if you are new, you can also register. This is how you access your UI. And if similarly, if you look at the port number, backend is available at port 8000. So click here. Okay, let's go here. So backend is also available here. It says not found. Why? That because this is basically the API backend. So if you go to uh, your address bar and type docs it should show you this swagger ui documentation and the cool thing is all the configuration is already done the name of the project login api is here users api is here utility is here you can also check the health of the api you can click on try now click on execute it is true Right, so this is cool. So this is how we can use docker services to expedite our development flow. Okay, this is a boilerplate for the next project that we are going to do and similarly i will also show you some of the services that we install in the process for example the adminer adminer is basically the u on the ui for your database right if you recall here if you go back to the enb setting what is the database setting we have post -trade? okay and now let's open the adminer site it is asking for the server service dv Oh, well, this is going to be Postgres, server is going to be DDV, DV. the username is the name of the user, which is the Postgres here. Postgres password is changed. This database is OS and database. Okay, this is available at localhost for 8080. Click on permanent login, click on login, you can see all the database as a ui this is cool guys this is interesting right in your in your web browser this is cool now let's look at other services that we have in the process let's say proxy so what is a proxy we will talk about this in detail in future videos but for now just understand proxy is something that is working like 
your middle way between your api services and the client okay you can see this is a proxy service we have the routers all these routers the health is also defined here the state are failure http service is also available here middle way so you can track here all this cool stuff we already installed using docker and fast api template there is one more that i wanted to show you in this demo click on this mail character so in develop and process you might want to test some email send email functionalities right let's say how do you want the users to get notification about your services so for that the mail character is here you can use it in future we will uh, build applications that will also show you how to work with mail characters traffic everything is going to be there so join me in this process guys welcome back again this is giving back ai education we are going to build a fully stack, fully functional, public facing open source network application. And in the process, you will become AI engineer. This is one of the course where you will start with the problem, not the course concept. You start with the problem, you figure out what things need to, needs to be done, and then you implement the AI engineering concept to get things done and achieve the goal you wanted. Please consider subscribing, it helps the channel a lot and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.